gonna show you how crazy this is. Oprah Winfrey and Magic Johnson uh, make a bid as a joke to buy the Clippers. That's a joke. And nobody gonna see it. It's a joke. First of all, Magic when you ready to buy them, and Oprah Winfrey when you ready to buy them. That's just a joke. It was already in line who they wanted to buy the team. That was already. They just was looking for an outlook to get the man out. It had nothing to do with no racism. This is what we gonna use to get him out. And folks bought that. They bought that. Then who, who do they talk to as if he's a spokesman for the NBA? Ain't going to do no striking. LeBron James. So LeBron James becomes a spokesman for all in. No, go get somebody like Derek Fisher who will go ahead and yeah, go, get, go get Kobe Bryant because they ain't getting ready to go for that. But Kobe, you make fun of him when he say, they ain't my business. They ain't none of my fire. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I understand how life is. But the system in the city of St. Louis, uh, the educational piece, how do you take children from the Normandy School District and put them into other schools and then come back and take the school away from the people and then put other people in there? Ain't no vote been taken on, but the people that's going to pay your salary is going to be the taxpayers that live in the Normandy School District. I'm just confused how you work this system. I really am. I'm just confused. So we don't get involved and we don't learn and we don't try to become educated as the real deal. That's why it's good to listen to Dick Gregory sometimes. He might make you laugh, but listen to some of the stuff that he said, because it's true. Things that go on don't go on for nothing. It just don't go on. We have to be real conscious of that. You, We go around saying that President Obama is the first black president, like we don't know no better. Like we go. Well, we already know that John Henson was the first black president of America. We already know this, along with seven other black presidents. But we don't just, we, we, this is how diabolic America is. We sell that stuff. We sell it to people. We told folks that uh, Rosie Park was the one that started the, she's the one for her. We couldn't, uh, she, she's the one that refused to give up her seat. Oh, really now? Oh, is that true? Because I mean, when I heard, hey, when I read in the book, when I read it was a girl named Charlotte who was 18 years old and told them people, I'm not getting ready to give up my seat. I paid my dime. I want my ride. And they had to get her off the bus. Well, three days before they go to court, they don't tell you that they asked or uh, they found out that Charlotte was pregnant. So they couldn't bring her to court. So they asked Rosie, who had just got taken off the bus like everybody else, but who happened to be connected with NAACP, would you represent this case as we go to court? But they don't tell you that story. They don't tell that part about history. No, that's true. It's in the books. They, just, they don't tell you that. Same as Jesse Jackson. Lying, talking about he, he, he died. Uh, Martin Luther King was the last person that, 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 he, that, that I was the last person Martin King spoke to. Really? How do you do that? Because the picture that they showed with you all up there, that was taken a day before the, the killing. So by the time you get up there, they ain't even what happened. But you take your shirt off and you dip it in the blood and then put, and put it back on and say, oh, the last person I spoke to. Then why come Jose Williams wanted to kill you? How come Craig Scott King didn't want to really talk to you no more? I mean, this is just stuff that we do. So you don't think that Al Sharpton was out selling drugs and the FBI didn't come to him and tell him, this is what we want you to do. I mean, we, we act like these things don't be real. But as soon as our young people get in trouble, our young folk, we just kick them to the curb. We don't care about them. We have not equipped them to do what they need to do to survive in this system. Fathers ain't doing what they supposed to do. Father support doing a great job, but they ain't Jesus. They not they not equipped to do what they supposed to do. You want to have sex, but you don't want to be responsible because that girl want to be married. And you don't catch that because she psychologically she's groomed to be a mother and groomed to be a wife. You're supposed to be groomed to be a provider. So you're thinking that this is okay. So we, we got a crash system. And we act like, I'm talking about our system in St. Louis, acts like that you want to help you, but you really don't.